Hi, how's it going? This is a bit of response for Cody Language Blog. And well, I, I watched your video and I, I, I find your video very interesting with some points I, I want to comment. And yeah, like you, I like very much to, to learn a language using an input approach. I think it's the best method to, to learn a language because it's very time effective because you know that, that you are you can you can listen the language while you are walking, while you are doing other things, uh, going to to the university, to to the work and I think it's it's very effective because it's a way to 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 listen a lot and, and then get used to the language and yeah uh, finally you have to produce a language you have to you have to to speak the language to to write the language uh, because it's it's the way you notice um, which is your level in the language and yeah uh, another thing I wanted to to tell uh, to to say is that you said you you don't have you don't have anybody to practice your languages well, um, you probably have done it, but I would suggest you to use Skype uh, to meet people from different countries that have the language you are learning, uh, and then make an, appo uh, make a, an appointment in Skype and then uh, do language exchange. That means you are speaking maybe 20 minutes in English and then you can talk with the other person 20 minutes in German for example and I use a, I use a web uh, the, the name is myhappyplanet.com maybe you know it and it's for free it's uh, the purpose of this web is to meet people that want to, to make language exchange mainly so I use this web and I, I met people, very interesting people from the United States and I had conversations in English and Spanish because I changed my Spanish for their English. So I think it's, it's, it's a way, a free, it's free and, and it's very useful because you don't have to go to anywhere to practice your, your your target language. What else? And uh, yeah, you say that uh, mm, you are you are trying to you are trying out to to uh, to play in background the language without paying attention. This is something that I, I have done. I have done, and I think it's very uh, very useful and very effective. Because uh, yeah, you are not paying attention, but uh, the 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 brain is still active, like you say, and it's is still picking up words, sentences, pronunciation, intonation. So finally, uh, after a lot of hours, the brain begin starts making patterns of the new language and you are not noticing about it but I experienced that for example I like mm, to, to turn on the radio in English, American radio and then I am doing other, other, other things, other stuff with my computer and then the day before uh, I recall some sentences or I recall I don't know uh, words or pronunciation of the words but I I didn't pay attention the day before so so I, th I think it's very it's very interesting your point here and of course I will continue uh, to play in the radio the, in English and well it's pretty much what I wanted to tell you about your video I think it's 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 very interesting maybe you should copyright the idea of of learning a language while while you are sleeping 
because you know that lots of people are lazy while if if they want to to learn a language and this is the the best method because you don't have to do anything just sleeping and it's also an ex an excuse for for sleeping more hours every day <laughs> because you can say no no I'm 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 learning Japanese or I'm learning Chinese and I want to do it very fast and it's it's because I, I'm, I'm sleeping more hours than, than before. So that's it and see you soon. Bye bye.